days ago I happened to come across a YouTube uh, showing so-called demon slayers and they were all on a stage. I think it was a guy named uh, um, Isaiah Salvador, I think was his name, that put up the video and they had there's this pastor, I think his name is Gary Locke, and he had these guys all on stage and they all shared their brief testimonies and how they're just casting out demons all over the place. I would caution them not to receive gifts or money for what they're doing. Uh, I think some of them are multi-millionaires. Multi uh, this is a temptation that Satan tempted Jesus with. If you will just bow down to me, I'll give you all this, all these kingdoms. So they're bowing down to the devil who's deceiving them. They're casting out, they're not casting out demons. They're just playing with them. The demons are playing with them and, and pretending they're being cast out. They're just moving around. And some people that are having these demons come out of them, these demons go and search for a dry place for rest. And when they don't find any, they come back into that person, bringing with them seven more demons more wicked than themselves. This is what's happening. It's a charade. It's the deceitfulness of Satan is able to make these guys believe that they're, they are casting out devils, but they're not. They're under his power. They're working iniquity in the name of Jesus. They are covetous, every one of them. And um, someone has to say something, you know, it's not judging other than it's judging those that are supposedly in the body of Christ. We have that authority to judge them. Those that are without, God will judge. So, these pretenders are ministering as righteous, and Satan has set them up to deceive if it were possible, the elect, I don't see how that would be possible. These guys are so slipshod in their ministries. But they are raking in the money. And uh, money is the root of all evil. The love of money. And they love it. They love the money. They love the attention. And they are false teachers. False ministers. Stay away from them. Don't give them any money. Let it dry up. Let them dry up in their bank accounts. That's my prayer. God bless you, those of you who know the difference between good and evil. And you know those verses that say, A covetous man who is an idolater cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven even if he casts out devils in Jesus' name and prophesies in Jesus' name. Jesus will say to him and to all those who follow them, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Zip. So wake up. Don't follow them. Get into the Bible, the Word of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. And even Michael... The angel did not rail against Satan when disputing with Satan over the body of Moses. He simply said, the Lord rebuke you. So these guys, these demon slayers, don't know what they're tangling with and they are deceived. It's another sign, lying sign and wonder that is happening in these perilous times. Jesus said, go not after them. Many will come in my name, saying, Lo, here is Christ, deceiving many. Go not after them, Jesus said. Let's follow what Jesus says in Matthew 24. God bless.